Hey everyone, Sam Dodd here, your trusted real estate expert. Let's talk about something that it's super important to consider when selling your home, and that's the tax consequences. First, let's talk about capital gains tax. When you sell a home for more than you paid for it, the profit is called capital gains. In most cases, this gain is subject to capital gains taxes. However, if you've lived in your home as a primary residence for at least two of the last five years, you may qualify for capital gains tax exclusion. For single filers, you can exclude up to $250,000 of the gain from taxes. And for married couples filing jointly, that exclusion increases to $500,000. So if you've lived in your home for two out of the last five years and your profit falls under those limits, you won't owe any capital gains tax. But if your gain exceeds these amounts, you'll be taxed on the excess at the federal capital gains tax rate, which can range from zero to 20% depending on your income. Now, what if the home you're selling isn't your primary residence, like an investment property or second home? In those cases, the capital gains tax exclusion does not apply. You'll owe taxes on the full profit and the rate will depend on how long you've owned the property. If you've owned it for more than a year, it will be taxed at the long-term capital gains rate. If you've owned it for less than a year, it'll be taxed as ordinary income. There are also a few potential deductions and write-offs you can take advantage of when selling a home. You might be able to deduct things like closing costs, real estate agent, commissions, and any major improvements you made to the home during your ownership, which can reduce the amount of gain on your taxes. It's always a good idea to consult with a tax professional to make sure you're taking advantage of all available deductions. To summarize, if you're selling your primary residence to meet the requirements, you may be able to exclude a large portion of your capital gains from taxes. But if you're selling an investment or second home, be prepared to pay capital gains on the profit. And don't forget about potential deductions that could help lower your tax bill like 1031 exchanges. Selling a home is a big decision and the tax implications can play a big part in your financial outcome. If you have any questions about navigating the sales process or what your tax consequences will be, please reach out to me. I'm Sam Dodd with the XP Realty, and I'd love to answer any questions that you have.